Hey guys, welcome back. This is Chosen Arctic, and today we are going to be jumping in to some auto sieving. Yes, we are going to be automating this process. So I hope you guys are ready. So today I've done a little bit of sieving. I basically took some uh, cobblestone, kind of turned it to gravel. I even ran some dust through. So what we have now is just a little bit more. We have some gl uh, glowstone now. We have some blaze powder. And I went ahead and cooked up the quartz because you get quartz power from that. But I think today we should have enough iron. I did go ahead and get everything processed. It is in, and gave it time to process uh, while I kind of hung out with everybody on the server. Um, so I have tons more materials here. Just going to dump them in. By the way, with this right here, if you hit the compact equals stacks and you have stacks that are maybe uneven. So say you put a stack like this in, which it lets you do. Uh, where we have 30 here, if you hit this button, it will even out the stacks and make everything nice again. And sometimes that can save you a bit of room. So yeah, today we're going to work on the auto sieve setup. Yes. Um, it shouldn't actually take too long to do and should be pretty easy. There's a few things that I want to get. One being, I would love to do Ender I.O. conduits. Um, so conduit binder is something that I want. So we do have item conduits, conduit, and we need conduit binder. So we're going to need a little bit of clay, some sand, and gravel. Now, I don't have much gravel, but I can easily get some, and I'll split this stack, basically. Um, I need all of this down. Basically, the, the hammer can do two stacks worth of stuff. So if I split this down, hammer this, this will give me gravel. What I can do is control K, compress down all of the gravel, split that stack. I'll save that over here. And then what we'll do is we'll lay down the rest of this to get the sand. It's probably the easiest way to do this. That'll get us the dirt. We'll compress that. And we'll lay this down. I love having this nice big hallway here. That really helps us. Or excavate. And there's our sand. Awesome. So we'll take some of that sand and gravel. And we'll just make some grout with it. Or not really grout. Is it grout? Binding, or binding composite or whatever it is. So. There's that. I think I have some clay laying around. Right? So let's get into this conduit, conduit binder. Bam, we should be able to make that. Maybe, maybe not. I think we have some clay. Let's try it in here. Conduit binder. Look at that. We can get a stack of it. Let's get it cooked up. There we go. And uh, I want to go ahead and get an alloyer machine. There's a, a early machine that you can get to alloy stuff. And that is going to start off with Ender IO. Now, the early alloy smelter that you get from this, um, it constantly eats at your power. So you don't want to keep it on your power forever. Um, so the simple alloy smelter, you don't want this thing on your power like for the long term. So, yeah, we're going to... Make sure we don't keep it on there. Let's make two furnaces. We should have enough for this. Right, what are we missing? Oh, iron alloy ingot. Is that new? That might be new. Wait, what? How does this work? <laughs> Do you have to make it in a smeltery? No, there's no way. So the simple alloy smelter requires iron. Yeah, it requires iron, not iron alloy. Alloy. So this is kind of derping here. Some that's why I said sometimes this doesn't function properly and and will derp out on you. Okay, so we need stone gears, and then we can set this up. We'll clear this out. We'll actually add that in there. And I thought we already had the mach the simple machine chassis. Oh, we didn't because it's it's requiring, yeah, not iron. So there we go. There's one of those. We can throw this in here now. Pull the iron. And there we go. That 
Should be just about everything, I think. Oh, yeah, there's our alloy smelter. Okay. So, right here. Let's go ahead and get this. Oh, gosh. I forgot to mention, jump scare, sorry for the warning, that whenever you place it here and it recharges, it can do that sometimes. Yeah. Um, kind of chaotic. But anyways. Uh, let's go. Oh, I guess we threw that out of our inventory, didn't we? All right. So, I am going to want four Ender I.O. Or Ender Conduits. Not Fluid Conduits. What am I looking at? Item Conduit. Uh, we need Pulsating Iron. We get Pulsating Iron from Iron and Ender Pearls. Right? So, we have two. I'll do two Iron. We'll split that up. That should get us two ingots. That'll give us plenty of item conduits. You can get these pretty early, and they are very nice. It's just going to take a little bit of time for it to cook up, which is going to give it time for our finder to cook up. While that's working, let's go ahead and focus on everything else we're going to need. We're going to need auto hammers and also auto um, sieves. So for the hammers... We're going to need seven of these bad boys, and that means seven of these. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Seven of these bad boys, which is going to turn into hammers. So if we have seven, we're going to need 14, so 28 weighted pressure plates. Yeah. 28 of these bad boys is what we're going to need. There we go. 28 weighted pressure plates, and then, last but not least, get this cleared out of here. There we go. We should be able to get seven of these. So seven auto hammers complete. Now we also need the sibs for them so we can get our items out. Um, for this, we're going to go ahead and use blocks of iron. So if we need three of them, we're going to need um, six total. So six blocks of iron. And we're going to need some sieves. Looks like we don't have the wood, do we? You know what? I'm going to make these by hand. Just like that. Oh, does this actually not accept this wood? What? Oh, it's a slab. <laughs> I'm like losing my mind here. So there's six. We'll just go ahead and use that. And there is that ready to go. All right. So all we got to do should be able to make this. Uh, we don't have panes yet. That's not hard to get. And last but not least, that should equal three of those. Awesome. So quest complete, and we're ready to go. Uh, let's see what we got the request, by the way. Double layer capacitor. That's not bad. And, ooh, a Herculean flux storage. That's actually really good whenever we get into flux storage. I will take those rewards. That may not seem like a bad re or a good reward, but that actually is a pretty good reward. That's a pretty big storage for... Uh, RF. Okay, so we have our machines ready to go. All we're waiting on now is this pulsating. What I'm going to do is actually break that because, like I said, you don't want to keep that thing running. You know what? I might just place it on the wall here and get it stored there. Whenever we need it, we can come back to it. So, this right here, there is a specific way we need to set this up and I'm only going to be sieving, or I'm only going to be creating gravel, dust, and the other thing is going to be sand. So gravel, sand, and dust. And one of them is actually a lot bigger than the other, and we can actually stack these right on top of one another. So that shouldn't be too difficult to do. Oh, almost forgot, now that I mentioned it. Um... Conduit. We actually need energy conduits, so we're going to need redstone and iron. 
We need some iron and redstone. So I still do need this machine up. So three, do six. So I'll keep that running. There we go. Let's go ahead and get this split down and we can grab our conduit binder. Throw that in here. And there we go. And that's a lot of item conduits early on. A whole lot of item conduits, which are going to be very nice for what we're about to do. All right, so we can kind of split this up even. This room is perfect in size. I want my dust to be here, sand, and then gravel. Okay, so auto sieves, you can go here, here, and here. Auto hammers, you can go here. On this one is going to be four. So if I go in order, on the top here, we're going to be filling this with cobblestone. That's going to turn into gravel. The gravel is going to be broke down um, into sand. No, uh, gravel is going to be broke down into dirt. The dirt is then going to be broke down into sand, and the sand is going to be broke down into dust. Am I thinking this correctly? Cobblestone to gravel. Or, yeah, cobblestone to gravel. Gravel to dirt. Dirt to sand. Sand to dust. There we go. I was going to say, I thought I had that correct. In my head, anyways. Um, this one's going to be dust, so this is a little bit less. This will be cobblestone to gravel. Gravel to dirt. Dirt to sand. Yes. Oh, in the last one, we just need one. I... We need eight. Oops. My bad on the math. Look at that. Look at me derping there. Anyways. <laughs> at least these are easy to make. There we go. And there's another one. So that's going to be eight. And this one's going to be cobblestone to gravel. Very simple. Alright, so hooking these up is not going to be too difficult. I think what I'm going to do is line this all in the back. Let's just clear this whole area out. Might as well. We're going to need the room back here. And uh, we're going to have to get this all routed together. Awesome. We're going to need a cobblestone generator. So I guess you're moving with me. Mr. Cobblestone Generator. All right, so this cobblestone generator is going to produce all the cobblestone needs for this whole setup. And it is probably going to go right here. On top of that, we're going to have a storage drawer. So let's go ahead and get that guy made. And of course, it's going to need cobblestone. In the drawer. <laughs> Just like that. All right, so we're going to have to route our cables in the back. I might actually need to get this cleared out as well. Because this is where all of our cabling is actually going to route through. Like this. So directly on here, this guy is not going to get any specific materials. So we're going to have to make sure we, we block this out. Um, but here, we can go ahead and turn the extract off. Make sure this is set to insert, and we're going to leave that on the green channel. And we're not going to turn this extract on just yet. We'll do that later. But let's go ahead and get these cables routed around. Um, so this one also... Uh, actually, you know what? This does need to be on. That does need to be on there. We'll route this in a second. I'm going to show you exactly what I want to do. Let's just get these cables on. Same on the other side. We're going to pull this around. Place it all the way up here, and it's going to continue all the way down. And this is where it can kind of get a little bit complicated. So if you guys need to pause the video, and if you need to pause it, you can do so. I'm going to show you how to channel Ender.io conduits. And this is probably the best conduit, the best like item sorting system for what we're fixing to work on. Um, but when it comes to item sorting, let's go ahead and start with this. So first of all, Everything that is going to get cobblestone is going to come from this green channel. Um, so keep that in mind. When I turn this on, right now it's off because the redstone mode is inactive. If I turn this on, everything that's in the green channel, which everything that is 
is in input mode, such as this one, right here, input is on, it is going to receive it on the screen channel. So right now, if I flip it on, that's going to get it. I don't want to flip it on right now. Well, I, you know what? I can go ahead and do that. It's going to start filling this up with cobblestone, as you can see, because it's on the green channel. It's on the same channel. So when I turn this off, by the way, if you right click, you can also undo it by left clicking and you can go back. Um, but as you can see, this also has an output on it. So whenever this gets grinded up, it's also going to produce an output. We want this output, which is going to be gravel going in here. So this currently has another option. I can also extract from this and I can put this on a brown channel and which means on the insert over here, I can put the insert on the brown channel and I can turn this extract off because it doesn't need to extract, right? It needs to stay on this channel. Um, I could technically extract from here on a separate channel. That way we can have all of these items being pulled out into one central location using the same conduits. Like we can use these same conduits and keep everything nice and compact, which is kind of what I want to do. Um, but I'll show you here in a little bit, we can actually filter things. But yeah, up here, remember, this needs to be on insert on the green channel. This is also going to receive cobblestone up top. But we also need to extract on not the brown, but the blue. You want to keep it different. There's several channels on these conduits, and you want to keep it separate from what you're using. So this is going to extract on the blue. I'm going to go ahead and switch these to always active. Um, that way I don't forget later on. And I was like, what's going on? So these will be flipped to always active. So this one's on blue channel, always active. We'll go down here. This will insert on the blue channel. Then this one actually is going to extract as well. We're going to set this to a channel that's on a higher uh, than this one, which is purple. Always active. Make sure this one's go to purple. And you just kind of repeat this process. This is going to be one higher than purple, which is cyan. Always active. And it's going to insert down here on cyan. And you can turn that off right now. Look at that. And then we just basically sorted all of these channels. Now this one's the biggest one. So let's take a look at this one. It's going to insert on the green. Remember cobblestone going into it. Then it's going to extract. And remember the last one we used was cyan. So we're going to use light gray on this one. Always active. Light gray. Insert. Then on this one we need to, on the light gray, use gray always active and just keep going down the line gray this one will go one higher than gray which will be pink always active this one will be pink make sure we click the insert one higher than pink which is lime always active this one will insert on lime and we can turn that off so technically these are all set up the only thing we need to do now is give it power which is why we were cooking up some of these for power. Take like the conductive iron. And I want to take some of the conduit binder. And let's get some energy conduits. Nice. Um, I also want to make another battery. From cyclic. So we're going to do that. Um, I think I have everything right. Except for clay. Oh, I must have used all the clay. That's right. All right. I have a little bit of dust right here. So let's grab a bit of that. There's our clay. And of course we have to make redstone block. Awesome. So here we go. Battery. Now I also need a GPS. So let's make that. There's our GPS. And we're going to use this GPS for our battery. So right up top here, I'm going to place my battery. And I'm going to mark it with that GPS marker. That is going to give it wireless power to our setup over here. Throw it in here. You see it's going to drain our power because it's going to be charging this battery as well, which holds another million RF. Connected to that. Uh, if you don't do what I just did, let's go ahead and uh, unclick that. We don't want that extract on there. But we do want to go ahead and add to the conduits. Conduits are really nice because you can bundle them. 
And what I'm doing here is adding power to the system. Um, technically, I don't have to add any extract. I'm just going to set extract for right now and set it's always active. Or actually, sorry, this is under the Ender IO mode. I don't really need that. I need this, which is set to extract always active by default. And then we're going to route this through the exact same bundles going up into each machine because all these machines are going to require some power. And look how simple that is. All of this nicely powered like so. Okay, so now that we have this done, I think it's about time we turn this guy back on. Always active. That should fill all of these with cobblestone. Once this fills the cobblestone, this one will also fill the cobblestone. And our round, our item routing is actually done. It's, it's pretty much done. Technically, all these should have power as long as we set the proper side, so which is west, to, to powered. As you can see, these are going to start working now. Um, so this is going to convert everything into gravel. These currently don't have a mesh in them, so we need three diamond meshes. I hope we have enough diamond for that. So let's hope we even have enough string. So we're going to need three of these. Three of the flint. Of course, we can make flint. We have gravel now. Turn that into flint. There we go. Back to this. Flint. Then to the iron. Then hopefully we have enough diamond. We're missing one diamond. Honestly, we can probably sieve that. <laughs> I mean, we, we should be able to get that at least out of this. So we should hopefully see a diamond. There is an emerald. We have five on us, so we'll see it when it hits. There's our, there's our diamond. So there's technically our other mesh. Awesome. So what we can do is fill this with a mesh. Not three of them. Two of them. And that will start our auto sieve process, as you can see here. Very, very cool. But one thing, one problem we're going to run into is we don't actually have enough power. I know it sounds crazy, but we don't have enough power. Um, let's take a look at what exactly we're going to need to do to solve that problem. And it's going to involve a little bit of rigging. But we should we should have enough resources, I think, once it sieves a little bit to do so. All right, let me throw all my Thaumcraft stuff in here. There we go. All right, so with all this processing, we should start seeing some materials show up. Uh, this one should be getting sand, right? Is our system not, did I miss something? Always active. What I, what I do wrong here? Let's take a look. Uh, so something... Oh, I didn't turn the extract on. So yeah, you'll be able to find out real quickly if you did something wrong. Um, one of these should get us... Like, dust should definitely get us some stuff. Gravel should get us some diamonds over time. This is just going to take time. Um, but it's still better than doing it by hand. We don't have to do this by hand anymore. Oh, it's so nice. Um, our items are just being sent there. Our power seems to be doing okay. But we are slowly but surely going to run out of power. And that's where some things are going to come in handy. So here we should be generating some redstone. Not at a super fast rate. Um, but yeah, I want to kind of change at least two of these generators to a different type of generator. So these generators can actually be upgraded to super these uh, heated redstone generators. So we need two blocks of redstone to be able to do this. And we should be able to get heated redstone generators right here. 
These are going to require lava in the same form that we're doing now, but they're also going to require redstone. So let's put some redstone in, and this is going to produce 160 RF a tick per generator, but it also sort of consumes your redstone at the same time at a pretty decent rate. You can see here, it really is consuming that redstone. Um, so you got to keep that in mind as well. So we're producing what a hundred and or 360 RF a tick. Technically we need like 400. So we're, we're probably gonna have to do it to this one as well. Uh, I hope we have enough redstone and I hope we can produce redstone fast enough to be able to maintain this. We might not. So we may be moving to a different type of power generation very soon. This will just be temporary until then. But this will still generate plenty of RF. There we go. Look at that. Also, all of these have, in the bottom have been upgraded to the uh, heating element. Um, so these are all running at 60 times. So lava gen is not an issue at this point. So that's not a problem at all. Yeah, when, when these don't have, when they don't have enough power, they sort of kind of slow down. They still work, but they just slow down a little bit. Um, it does seem like all of these machines are kind of being powered. This one's running out. That's running out. That's running out. So yeah, eventually they'll run out. But as you can see, we are generating a little bit of redstone. That's not going to be enough to maintain these. So what we're probably going to have to do, well, there's only one other thing we can do. With the material that we're getting from here, which is the uranium grit, we're going to have to use that. And we're going to be using that to hopefully make some, uh, well, we're going to make a big reactor eventually. Um, so, now that we have all this set up, each one of these need to be set on an extract. And we're going to have to extract that into something that can auto-craft. So, things that auto-craft are crafting stations. We also have auto-crafters. from our uh, see, RF tools. Or we can just store all this stuff until we need it. I'm thinking probably storage drawers. Probably the best going into a drawer controller. Um, a drawer controller wouldn't be too bad for us to make. Let's see, we should be able to make this. That'll make a drawer controller. I think we have a drawer, don't we? Let's make some drawers. We should be able to make tons of drawers at this point. There we go. And we'll make a bunch of regular drawers. Bam. There's 20. And there's even more. Okay. So we have some drawers now. We should be able to make this. Oh, we're missing one diamond. Did we Have we gotten a diamond yet? We have. Perfect. So one diamond is all we needed. And there's a drawer controller. Perfect. That drawer controller is going to be very nice. Let's go ahead and place that bad boy right here. And what we're going to do is we're going to set up a bunch of other stuff. Now, compacting drawers is going to be another thing that we probably want to make at least nine of. So there's 18 pistons. I hope we have enough of this. We need stone. No way. We're going to need more stone. I don't think I have any other stone... Um, we could actually probably speed this up and cook stone this way as well. Instead of using our normal furnace, this guy should be able to cook us up some stone pretty fast as well. So now that I have all of the drawers nice and set up in here, um, this is exactly, I think, the amount that we're going to need. I can go ahead and just kind of grab out all the ore pieces that are in each of these machines. And what we're going to do is we're going to take this, even though we're running out of power, we'll, we'll fix that shortly. 
And we need to place this in each one. Perfect. All right, so now what we got to do is clear this out. We got to get access to the Ender IO conduit, which should be in here somewhere. Item conduit. And we'll route that along. Perfect. And we can, we'll probably barely be able to click this right here. All right, so each one of these bottom pieces, like this right here, needs to be turned off. But each one of these need to be on their own channel and needs to be the last channel after this one. So we need to go after Lime on all the extractions. What is yellow? Always active. So make sure we go to yellow. Always active. And last but not least on this one, yellow. Always active. And what we'll do is we'll insert here on yellow. Turn the extract off. And that will pull all the items that build up in here. Perfect. And last but not least, I guess we can close this up once we get some more power going. Because right now we have no power. So, yeah. That's a thing. Um, now, we do have a key. I don't think we have a drawer. I'm going to make another drawer just to make sure I can make this key. This key is very important. Drawer. We're going to make the drawer key. So I should have everything to make this, I hope. That and some sticks. There we go. And we can make a drawer key. I think. Wait, we need nuggets. <laughs> now we can make the drawer key. Awesome. Drawer key. Hit that bad boy on the controller. That is going to lock all of our drawers for us. So now we can like pull out our redstone. And we can split that redstone up in between these generators. And just get some power going back. Well guys, we got quite a, f quite a ways. But as you can see, we're running into a power issue. We're going to work on next episode. Getting our power a little bit more efficient and uh, making better use of this lava. So, anyways guys, I hope you enjoyed today's episode. If you did, don't forget to click that subscribe button if you haven't already, and also give this video, guys, a huge thumbs up. I really appreciate it. You guys are awesome. And as always, thanks for watching.